Hi everyone, welcome back to the second segment of the ins and outs of beauty. I'm Laura from Shea Wellness Clinic. And I'm Maria from Green Beauty Expert. Today we're gonna to be talking about hydration and why it's so important to have adequate amounts of water in your diet. And I'll be talking about hydration for the skin because there are some misconceptions out there about how you can actually hydrate your skin adequately. So I will be giving you four reasons to drink more water. So firstly, it helps maintain the balance of fluids. So your circulatory system, your lymphatic system, mm -hmm. all the fluids in your body, it helps with digestion, absorption of nutrients. It helps regulate your body temperature as well. So um, this is very important as we're made up of 60% of water. You really want to make sure that you're having adequate amount of hydration throughout the day. Okay, so I have a question. So if I wake up in the morning and I have a cup of tea or a glass of juice, does that count towards my daily intake of water? So that's a really good question <laughs> because most people think that drinking tea or juice or having even, right. you know, even coffee, some coffee. people think, mm -hmm. it does not actually, uh, well, it can count towards your hydration, but right now we're talking just regular, straight water, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just water. So you want to make sure that you're having pure water and not just getting your hydration through um, juices and teas. Right. But herbal I, teas are great. Yeah, for sure. Drinking pure water really helps your skin as well. Like, you know, when you're a little bit dehydrated, you have more, like your wrinkles really come out, your skin gets drier mm -hmm. and you're just looking a little bit, a little yeah. bit older than you would like. So yeah, so the hydration is not just important to have everything running perfectly inside, but yeah. also to have it look good of on, course, the on the outside so in terms of how much water is there like one number for everyone of course we've all heard about the eight glasses of water that we should be drinking and i know some people have a very hard time with that so it's not one size fits all it totally depends on your diet how much protein you're eating if you're eating more protein mm -hmm. you need that much more water mm -hmm. in your diet because it doesn't burn cleanly in your body so you have more toxins build up in your body through a higher protein diet. <laughs> so if I was following a keto diet, for example, exactly. I would need to be consuming more water. Yes, okay. and you can calculate how much water you need specifically yeah. um, based on your body weight. So mm -hmm. one size fits all does not apply here. You Got obviously, it. most of us don't drink enough, but we will be sending out a resource in how to calculate uh, your your intake water needs. Intake. Yeah. Correct. The, what I said about the protein, specifically in the keto diet, which mm -hmm. is very popular these days, is because you have more toxins in your bodies, your kidneys are trying to eliminate these toxins throughout the day. Right. So you need enough water to help your organs, specifically your kidneys, to help flush it out. So okay. that's very, very important. The other thing, what you want hydration for, is to keep you regular. It's important that we have regular bowel movements, well-formed bowel movements. Mm -hmm. We all know if we're a little bit dehydrated, constipation is something that happens very fast because Definitely. your body, yeah, your body will pull water from your colon and that's why we get constipated. So it's very, very important to eliminate all the toxins through Good our point. kidneys, through our bowels. So that is very yeah. important. Um, so I would like to give you three things that you can do to get more water in your diet. Uh, one thing is always keeping a water bottle around, mm -hmm. even an old mason jar, whatever it is, having a glass in every room in your house filled with water. Drinking water after you go to the bathroom is very good, just oh. to start making that a habit because input output That's right. kind of situation. Yeah. The other thing you can do if you're not really a huge fan of straight up water is flavoring it with mint, cucumber, lemon juice, anything to right. help put a little bit of flavor into it. Yeah. And there's also apps you can use these days that will remind you to drink water that will make your phones vibrate. So these are all little tips and tricks you can use to that's help really great. remind you. Yeah, hey, drink water, yeah. right? Oh, that's fantastic. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of you know, people who find something like that yeah. handy, right? And at the end, uh, we'll also be talking about a juice you can do, which is beneficial for your skin, your immune system, especially this time of year, and also adding a supplement which helps with your skin hydration. And Maria will be touching on this as well. Yeah, amazing. So what I wanna talk about today when it comes to the skin, I wanted to give you um, a few uh, notes on how to tell if your skin is dry versus dehydrated. So of course, at uh, this time of year, you know, when winter is here and perhaps maybe in the summer too, if you are under um, a lot of sun, you can feel dry. And people say, you know what, I feel dry. Right. Dry and dehydrated are not the same thing. So how can you tell if your skin is dry? 
Well, if your skin is dry, it's uh, pretty much a permanent condition. It means that you were born with less oil glands. Uh, so some of us produce more oil and people who are constantly dry have less, yeah. you know, oil glands. And uh, you might think at some point that you're lucky. However, the skin does need oil to be able to moisturize itself. So it's a permanent co condition. These individuals have less oil glands. Um, the skin feels rough. It appears dry and it can also be flaky. All right, so that, that is kind of just a few a few pointers on how to tell if it's uh, if it's dry. Now, if your skin is dry, uh, what it needs, since it's not producing enough oil, you need to give your skin oil because obviously it's not producing enough and it's not doing the job that our skin oils, oils are supposed to be doing. And so many people are so scared of oil, right? That's right, but if you're not producing it, you need to give it to your skin. It's it's kind of like, you know, as we are as we're aging, you know, we there are certain things in our body that we don't make enough yeah. of as we get older. And we dry so, up as we age. Exactly. So wouldn't you go supplement with that? You you know, yeah. you know that you don't have enough of this or you know, I don't know, calcium or whatever it is that you need to take that you know that you're lacking. It's the same thing with your skin and oil. Now, dehydrated, um, I think we are all dehydrated. We're probably dehydrated <laughs> internally and externally, yeah. but dehydrated um, skin can be caused by um, weather conditions. So of course you can feel uh, dehydrated in the summer if you're spending a lot of time in the sun. And you can also of course be dehydrated in the winter, yeah. especially with indoor heating going back on. And you know, if you like to take those long, hot showers, I would say right now, don't cut them down, um, you know, because that can actually dehydrate your skin farther. Or maybe just keep your face out of it. I don't know, find a way to do it. But a lot of hot water is not good. Even if you have conditions such as eczema or another, you know, skin condition, dry skin as well, hot water is never good for that. Good to know. Yeah, so I know it's hard because in the winter, that's all you want to do is to take like a nice long uh, hot bath or a hot shower. But the longer you're under there, uh, the worse it is. Now, uh, the other thing too, that the hydrated skin, it can look older. Yeah, of course, it can look dry because you're going to see it more in those fine lines, right? So they're going to become more prominent. So if you thought if you thought that you saw them before, um, if you are dehydrated, and as Laura said, if you're not yeah. doing enough of the water intake and giving your body what it needs, it's going to appear even more dehydrated because you're going to be able to see those fine lines. Uh, and I think those are good points. And those are things that we, uh, you know, especially as women that we don't want. So what can be done about this? So with dehydrated skin, you need to give your skin water. So we talked about dry skin. It needs oil dehydrated skin needs water and as Laura was saying of course we need it internally but dehydrated skin also needs it externally so I'm gonna give a few products that you can use so if you do have dry skin I don't want to neglect you but you are gonna be using it in oil so use an oil serum that's I think the quickest way to give your skin some of the benefits of the fats the fatty acids that are found in oils all right now when and you're oil, sorry to yes, interrupt. oil doesn't mean you will break out so That's so many right. people are staying away from oil mm -hmm. and don't equate that with having a breakout or getting acne so that's right that's right and i think you know when it comes uh into the the science of the oils you know the, there are going to be oils that i think you're kind of attracted to you know that make your skin feel really really good without being overly greasy yeah. there are so many different oils out there if you ever needed a hand sorting that out please contact me and i can help you out but you are right some of them feel heavier yeah. some of them are higher in their fatty acid content um, you might want something that's faster absorbed and a little bit lighter feel or create a shield like what we we talked that's right, about in this weather to kind of like layer and then step outside and Correct. i mean layering the products i would do this for both dry and dehydrated but when those temperatures drop down to minus 20 um, and a lighter oil at that point might not be enough. So it just depends on your purpose for, for using it. Now for the dehydrated skin, you need water. And there's a couple of ways to bring in water to your skin. Serums are one and then mists are the other. So the products that I have here are to buy Graydon Skincare, which is a Toronto based 
uh, brand. And um, the serum is the Full Moon Serum. And this one is made with hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid is a key ingredient for skin hydration. It carries a thousand times its own weight in hydration in, in water. So it's a fantastic one to use. You can add this you know, to your skin, to your skincare. It's, right. it's a fantastic product. It's mm -hmm. definitely a unicorn out there in terms <laughs> of, in terms of serums. Uh, trust me, I've looked through all of them. And what I love about it as well is that it contains, you know, the plant retinol. It contains the plant uh, based collagen. Retinol is a fantastic anti-aging ingredient, but the side effects of retinol can be irritation and also more dryness, which you definitely don't want. So that, that would be the conventional vitamin A. And plant retinol doesn't mm -hmm. make you photosensitive, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So this comes from the uh, the moth bean plant, mm -hmm. and the um, the collagen in this is also plant based, and it comes from the African mahogany tree. So it's from the bark um, of the tree. So again, it's also plant uh, based. And most well. collagen products um, are a, not plant based, but also you don't absorb it through your skin. That's right. right, that's fantastic. It's a fantastic point to make because there's such a misconception about collagen and women go out there and spend so much money on buying collagen for their, their skin, but it's actually too large to penetrate mm -hmm. your skin. So that's not the way you should be applying it. Now, when you have uh, a plant-based collagen such as this one mixed in with the hyaluronic acid, um, oligopeptides, retinol, etc. You have a much better chance for your skin to be absorbing it and actually having it uh, do what it's supposed to do, right? So the other thing I wanted to mention as well would be a mist. So if you are a fan of the mists, mm -hmm. you can definitely carry something like this around or place it in a smaller pump bottle that you can get at your local apothecary. You can, yeah, you can actually mist your face and kind of hydrate your skin whenever you These are fantastic for providing hydration. This is also a mineral mist, so it has, you know, the, the copper, the silver, it has the magnesium, so really, really good and um, nutritious for your skin. But it's um, fantastic also for setting makeup and for adding hydration to your skin when you need it. Pretty much after you know you we've put our makeup on, there isn't much that we can do to hydrate your our skin. I mean, we cannot go back in and add this. This is kind of done now. So the only thing that you can do throughout the day is to use a mist to spray. And you your just face. throw it in your bag, right? Yeah. And you just have it. Yeah, you can just throw it in your bag, and it goes really well over makeup, and it can actually really make your skin feel better, especially if you're sitting inside an office all day working in front of the computer where the heat is on and you feel yourself, I don't know, drying out like a prune. So, um, so Laura, may I spray yeah, you? Yeah, sure. Right. Yeah, it's super nice and it's also fantastic for, you know, reducing redness. The minerals are really nice and soothing and it has a very, uh, a very light scent and, and it it's really great. Your makeup. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't. It's not. Don't think that your makeup is going to run. It's just going to help set your makeup. So just keep misting yourself and add a serum when you're using the rest of your skincare, both in the evening and in the morning. Um, and then coming back to the collagen, what we were talking about before that you don't actually really absorb it through your skin. We made a little juice recipe, very mm -hmm. simple, made up of carrots, oranges, and apples. Carrots are great for your vision to improve the overall appearance of your skin. Mm -hmm. Oranges are high in antioxidants, uh, help your immune system. The apples is great to help cleanse your liver. Again, those toxins, you want them out right. for mm -hmm. your skin. Mm -hmm. And also it helps to boost your immune system. So all of these are really good to help make sure that you don't get sick this time of year yeah. and help your skin look their best. With this juice, you can just juice it freshly because you don't want prepackaged juice because they have sugars That's and right. additives in them. So if you just do a freshly squeezed juice, add some collagen into it. Spruce is a really good company that we have discovered and it's Canadian, comes Canadian. from the West Coast. It's a great marine collagen that they have. And um, I started using it a while ago and I think this is a great one that you can add to your freshly juice. You can put right. it in water, but in juice it's a little bit nicer. Or in smoothies. You or can in smoothies, smoothie. correct. So you can just add it in. It'll help your overall appearance because it helps strengthen your skin. It provides elasticity. <laughs> yeah. to your skin and it helps hydrate your skin. So collagen is an excellent thing to take internally. No need to really waste your money on the external products. That's so 
this is what we would recommend yeah. for your skin. Or give your skin, you know, both and yeah, and trying yeah. to stick to a to a plant, um, a plant collagen yeah. that is easier for your skin to absorb. Correct. So um, I like the, the marine collagen is um, great. I've been using it for a few months as well, and I also like that it's unflavored. Yeah. So really yeah, great. so everything from this company is great because a lot mm -hmm. of them, especially for your digestion, collagen is great for your digestion as well. The flavors I find very difficult, so that's why I'm a fan of this one. And Maria recommended this brand mm -hmm. to me. Um, I've recommended a few things to me now. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's the what we would recommend to get your collagen intake in to help support your hydration levels and your skin. Yeah. That's fantastic. Thank yeah. you, Laura. That's very uh, informative. Thanks and, so much, guys. Thanks yeah. for watching. And Thank we you. will be back next week with our third segment. Our third segment. Okay. Stay tuned for that. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.